Let's kick it off with President Trump. Ever since he moved into the White House, he's been worried about two things. One, that Eric would find out where he went. <laughs> and two, that a deep state inside his own government was secretly out to get him. Well, it turns out he may have been right. A doctor who once told the nation President Trump has incredible genes admits making some secret additions to Mr. Trump's diet. Ronnie Jackson served as presidential physician for five years until 2018. He tells the New York Times he and his staff are working on improving the president's diet. Those efforts reportedly included putting cauliflower in the president's mashed potatoes. <laughs> Jackson told The Times his goal was to help Trump lose up to 15 pounds. Yep, you heard that right. The White House doctor was secretly hiding cauliflower <laughs> in Trump's mashed potatoes so that he would eat healthier. And really, that's so unnecessary because Trump gets enough fiber from whenever he eats his burger without unwrapping it first. <laughs> Although, if this worked for his food, Maybe they could also trick Trump into being more effective as a president. Like, maybe they could sneak intelligence briefings inside his porno mags. Yeah. <laughs> that would be great for him. And then he'd learn something. He'd be like, wow, this lady's jugs are as big as the Russian presence inside of Syria. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. <laughs> but for real, though, I, I feel bad for Trump, man. Because this is the kind of trick you use on dogs, you know, to feed them pills. <laughs> The White House doctor says he was doing this? You can't treat a grown man this way. Like, what happens if Trump gets injured? Are they gonna make him wear one of those cones so he doesn't chew on it? <laughs> it's undignified. I mean, sneaking cauliflower into his food is not cool. First of all, cauliflower isn't even one of the good vegetables. It's just light-skinned broccoli. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Roasted, you cauliflower! <laughs> all right, moving on to the world of entertainment. Yesterday, one of Hollywood's biggest directors gave up one of Hollywood's biggest secrets. There's no bad apples here. Ryan Johnson, writer and director of Knives Out, says that even though Apple allows filmmakers to use its products in their films, there's one exception. A bad guy or any antagonist cannot be seen using an Apple iPhone. Wow. I didn't know this. <laughs> Only the good guys in a movie can use iPhones? I mean, now that we know it, it's gonna ruin the suspense in every film. <laughs> Yeah, because now mystery movies won't even need detectives. They'll just be like, okay, I'm starting a group text. Let's see who's blue, who's green. Yep. <laughs> Christoph Waltz came in green again. Movie over. <laughs> and you know what? Forget movies. I don't even trust those people in real life. If I get a green text bubble, best believe I'm calling the cops. I'm just calling the cops. <laughs> all right, I'm moving on. We all know this week, President Donald Jaiho Trump made his first official <laughs> state visit to India. And while he was there, he said everything was great. Well, it turns out that in the streets of New Delhi, the situation was spiraling out of control. Violent clashes between Hindus and Muslims in the Indian capital of New Delhi have left at least 20 people dead and more than 150 hurt. At the center of the dispute is a controversial new law, which makes it easier for non-Muslims to become citizens of India. The fighting began Monday between thousands demonstrating for and against the new law, and it coincided with President Trump's visit to India. When asked about the violence, Trump praised Modi for fighting for religious freedom. He wants people to have religious freedom, and very strongly. And he said that in India, India they, have, uh, they have worked very hard to have great and open religious freedom. He said that in idiot? <laughs> this is really interesting. So Trump asked Modi, what's going on with religious violence? And then Modi says, well, nothing to do with me. And what, Trump just believes him? Like, how is he so gullible? Anytime a world leader says they're not guilty of something, Trump just believes it. Whether it's Putin, Kim Jong-un, Modi, it doesn't matter. Like, Trump would be the perfect partner to cheat on, you know? <laughs> He'd be like, hey, you got a text from Big Dick Days. <laughs> Who is that? He'd be like, oh, that's just my really tall friend, Richard Dave. <laughs> oh, okay, have a fun night working late. <laughs> And you know, I'm, I'm not only worried about what's happening in India right now, I'm worried that the situation in India might affect the United States. Because in this country, rich white women love copying everything from Indian culture. Yoga, chai tea. Pretty soon, they're gonna be running around in the streets like, I read about this new Indian ritual on Goop. You go into the streets and you beat the shit out of someone who's totally different than you. I do it three times a week and I feel so refreshed afterwards. Yeah. It's like an ethnic cleansing. 